Matiangi and a police siege that is the flagger on the Daily Nation this Thursday morning. That's what you're waking up to. And this is obviously as a result of what happened yesterday night. In fact, as we speak, details are still scanty as to why police officers did raid um, the former um, Interior Cabinet Secretary's home. We also did see some leaders from the Azmiyo faction. Raila Odenga was there, Advocate Dansan Omari, Professor Makao Mutua. And they did say that, that the won't leave this home until they are furnished with details as to why police raided their home and the reasons why they even did that in the wee hours of the night. But what we know, there were some talks that this might have just been police from the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission, but the CEO, EACC, that is Twalim Barak, said that he is not aware of any sanctioned raid. So that only means that the moment we get details of what really happened yesterday night and which um, police from which institutions did raid um, Matiangi's home and for what reasons we will definitely be relaying that to you but so far that's just the match we know on the sidebar of uh, the same daily Raila calls Azimio crisis talks. This is said to be happening today. And the reason why this is happening is because of the mounting rebellion to his anti-government protest rallies and poaching of opposition lawmakers by President Ruto. We did witness this the minute um, Dr. William Ruto was sworn into office. There were some leaders from the Azimio faction who did move um, to Kenya Kwanzaa. And just two days ago, some ODM leaders were also meeting um, the president. And yesterday, Jubilee, some Jubilee, Luke Jubilee leaders also um, did meet the president. So this is part of why this uh, crisis talks are being called by the Azimir leader to just chart um, the way forward. And this is going to be taking place today as well as tomorrow. 34 counties flagged over 20 billion illegal salaries. The counties have been well named on this particular daily. In fact, this story has been tucked away from page 7 all through 9 of the Daily Nation. And this is coming at a time where we are seeing um, county governments asking for extra money. This is in addition to what they currently get from the exchequer, asking for 425 billion. But you did hear what the Deputy President said yesterday, that what they can only give is 385 this is even as the CRA is proposing for 407 billion so then there has been quite a push push and pull I shall say tassel between the national government county government and the Commission on revenue allocation and this also coming at a time where we are seeing 34 counties which did pay 20 billion you can imagine that amount and this was just in terms of illegal salary so we to also see um how this will pan out between the national county governments as well as the CRA. also new nssf rates will uh, hurt uh, workers says employers lobby this is supposed to take effect as early as april of this year that is the nssf act of 2013 which the court of appeal did give a green light for the nssf to begin collecting of more money and this is just from the 200 flat rate which has been what it has been collected since 2001 after that was increased from 160 to 200 but going by this proposal of 2013 that was supposed to increase by about six percent so what that means is that six percent of your salary is what is supposed to be going to um, the NSSF but as of yesterday FKE did um, uh, put a request there for more consultations to take place more public participation before then NSSF embarks on this collection. So we wait to see how all this will turn out. If at all, they'll begin the collection in April as it were, or perhaps this might drag just a bit until um, those public participations are concluded and conclusive um, at the end of the day. Also, Turkey earthquake toll jumps to 11,000 as more victims um, pulled from the rubble. As a government, we are also seeing some of those interventions, as was mentioned by the, in, uh, the, the Foreign Affairs Ministry. We are also looking into distribution of tea, coffee, and nuts to the victims of this affected earthquakes. And also what we know is that basically what is happening in Turkey and Syria, where this particular earthquake occurred, is that they are still continuing to evacuate um, some of those bodies. We are looking at 11,700 um, persons who have already um, been evacuated. And just before I toss it over to Marie on the back page of the Daily Nation, 
reprieve as electricity prices drops slightly. In fact, Kenya Power had written to EPRA in regards to this to see if they're going to be increasing electricity cost on some of those tariffs. But it looks like there's just some good news for electricity consumers as it turns out that uh, the regulator has cut power prices for February by 3.8% and they cite um, lower global crude prices that is the cost of producing thermal power. But also what we know is that yesterday yesterday they were co uh, they were conducting um some consumer um Consumer, just to understand basically what consumer would say in regards to this uh, electricity um, prices, what they think, and if at all it's going to be formidable for them in regards to uh, this, perhaps the increase, if at all that's going to be taking place. But so far, in regards to this uh, particular month, at least a bit of a reprieve for consumers there as far as electricity prices is concerned.